Hello everyone, welcome to Anna's Violets. In this video we're going to propagate Tradiscantia albiflora nanook and I'm going to tell you about two methods and we're going to do it right now in this video. So let's start! As you can see now I have this Tradiscantia nanook that has very long stems and even a longer one here. Let me see if I can move it here without breaking it. Yes, uh, it's basically very long and this is basically the result of not pruning uh, earlier. So it grows just these stems and they're getting longer and longer, but they're amazing. They're very healthy. And in this video, I want to talk to you about two methods of propagation. One is by division of the plant itself, because here you can see that there are already several stems growing from the soil. And you can basically remove the whole pot from the soil uh, propagated by division, basically dividing the plants and you can have maybe two or three plants separately growing from here. However, uh, my purpose of this video is to have a fuller pot, a bushier Tradiscantia or inch plant. And this is the reason why I will not be propagating it by division, but I will be choosing the second method, which is propagation by stem cuttings, because I want just the opposite. I want to plant separate cuttings directly into this pot and what you need to know about uh, the process is basically division is when you divide the plant itself and propagation by stem cuttings is where basically you cut the stems into different pieces and here you need to know that you will need to uh, choose a very healthy stem and you can see already here that some um, nodes also produce some sort of tiny roots that are not really activated. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, you can see that from the nodes there is already a tiny bump growing here. This is basically a root, but the root will grow only when uh, there are suitable conditions for it. And we will create these suitable conditions either by cutting and planting it in the soil or you can also cut it and plant, uh, put it in the water to grow roots. This is what I'm gonna do, that's why I have these uh, glass uh, jars here and I will be cutting and plant, putting them in the water to root first and only then I will plant them in the soil. You can choose any of the methods. I would say if you're just starting with propagation with Tradiscantia, even though it's a very easy to grow plant, I would definitely recommend starting propagating it uh, first in the water and then you can also do it directly in the soil. So if you're using water, make sure to change it every few days to prevent bacteria growth. And within a few weeks, if not days, you should start to see uh, roots developing. And once they're about a couple of centimeters long, you can transplant the cuttings into the soil. And it doesn't matter which method you choose, uh, make sure that you put your plant uh, in indirect sunlight. So not under direct sunlight, but in a very bright area with indirect sunlight. And then you will have all these amazing purples and pinks and greens, uh, which will, you know, add so much color. And have you seen it actually from the back of the leaves? It's even more purple and more pink. Amazing variety of Tradiscantia, definitely recommend it together with Tradiscantia zebrina, Tradiscantia purple heart. Uh, these are one of my most favorite plants because they are very easy to grow, they are just adding so much color. But let's stop talking and let's uh, jump into propagation. Well, basically I will be choosing nodes, I will be choosing stems that have several nodes and I will also be using razor. This is my favorite uh, method for making cuttings because I don't like scissors, I don't like using knife because when uh, I've, I've noticed that the stems are soft, sometimes when you cut them you can also damage a little bit of the tissue on the stems and um, the plant, the cutting may struggle a little bit to grow the roots. But with, uh, with a razor sharp like this I know that I will definitely have a cut clean. The wound with heal um, very easy and also the root growth starts um, quicker, faster basically. All right, so let's start. Let's, so basically I would like to have uh, cuttings of um, a specific length, so not very short. Uh, and I will have maybe from this cutting I will make three. So the most important thing here is to know where to cut because here you see the node. So the nodes are basically the place where the leaf is growing from. And here you can see that this plant was growing in a very nice condition because the leaves are not so far away from each other. Of course it can be 
still um, grow more dense, uh, not so leggy. This is not leggy, but still uh, it can be even thicker. But I would like to cut maybe one here in between the nodes. One will be here, then one maybe either here or here. And then I will have three cuttings basically. So two cuttings and one stem will be left uh, on the plant itself. So let me start. So the first cutting will be right here. Let me see if you will see where I cut it directly. Yes. So I'm going to cut right here. So this is one note. This is the second note and I will cut it right between them. Try not to cut the leaves, of course. But in any case, we're going to remove this one leaf because this one leaf will be either in the soil or in the water and uh, it will get rotten. So you don't really need this one, but this is an ideal cutting. Perfect one. Then the next one I can cut right here. Perfect. Remove this leaf. You will see the roots growing actually within a couple of days if it's warm and if the cuttings are in a bright area. Again, not in a direct sunlight. And I can cut this one even from here. So from here, from this node, and also from the very bottom, the plant will start growing new stems. Now let's move on with this cutting again this is what the stem and now let's um let's cut it so one i will cut right here but do you see the colors so amazing we remove this one leaf next one let's where would you suggest maybe here yep let's do it this way okay it's a bit uncomfortable but then we can cut from here and from, or maybe even from here. We'll see. Yeah, let's cut one here. Okay. And another one will be from here. And now we have left, uh, <laughs> we have this very long, long stem. Uh, I again need to move the plant so that you can see. But this is the longest stem, I must say. Look at this. <laughs> and of course, you don't want your plant to grow like this. You want a bushier plant, nicer plant rather than three long stems. And this is actually the secret how uh, you can grow a bushy plant just like this by always pruning. So don't let it grow leggy, not leggy again, but not long like this. Okay. Always try to prune it as long as it grows. Just cut it, make cuttings and plant in the same pot if you want to. So that you always have fuller and fuller pot. See, this stem was growing in winter and the space between the nodes is even longer. So definitely you can see in which conditions the plant was growing. All right, this one. Then maybe this one. All right. And let's cut one also here. All right, now let's remove these leaves. Let's see how many we will have now. One, two, three, four. They're very strong, I would say. So, I will place them now in the water and as soon as they grow roots, maybe in a couple of days or whenever it will happen, uh, I will show you the roots and we will plant them. So watch till the end because now we will have the second part after a couple of days or weeks. So now we will have the easiest part, planting. Well, these cuttings are staying in the water for a couple of weeks already. I think four, if not five weeks. And you can see that the roots are pretty developed already. This is more than enough. So you can wait one or two weeks. And then when you see one or two centimeters long roots, it's already the time to plant them. And you can see the difference in colors. So these are the older leaves that are a little bit, uh, you know, having more pink on it. And then the new ones are very light pink, almost green. 
kind of losing uh, the variegation but here um, the reason for this is lack of light because they were uh, standing in this water indoors in the shade but now that I will plant them I will put them in a brighter area and this is also what I would definitely recommend you to do grow them in indirect sunlight very bright indirect sunlight and then you will have this very beautiful green and pink and even purple on your Tradiscansia LB4 LB4 Ananuk. All right. So, the soil that I'm going to use will be this one from Cyber Soil from Sabatanica and this is meant for Hoyas. However, um I really liked it for Hoyas and I think Tradiscansias are also not really demanding in terms of soil of course it should not be a very sandy soil very heavy soil and that's why i decided to plant it also in this soil and try to uh, experiment a little bit and see how they will grow in this kind of soil it's with worm castings it has bark perlite in it it's very very light and i absolutely loved it for my hoyas um, and now i'm gonna uh, plant also my tradiscansias in this Let's open another bag. If you would like to try this soil for, for your Hoyas or for your Tradiscansias, Anthuriums, uh, Dracaenas, um, Philodendrons, this will be a perfect uh, soil to choose. I will also put the link in the description if you would like to try this soil. You can order it and use my code NSVIOLETS to get 10% discount. Um, from your purchase but this is not a sponsored video i'm just trying this soil to test how the plants will grow in it and as i have already said so i liked how the hoyas uh, grew in this for already two months and now i'm very happy to also experiment with tradiscansias and i'm sure they will grow perfectly because it's quite easy to grow tradiscansias they're not really demanding in terms of soil i will be planting them some cuttings i will plant in this uh, clay pot which is very beautiful I must say and I really like it and some also in this uh, nursery pot so that maybe in the future I will I will either um, plant this in a bigger pot let's see or grow it as a hanging plant or maybe even sell it or swap <laughs> so the idea is basically to add a little bit of soil at the bottom this is uh, the easiest process I think don't worry if you uh, have cuttings, don't worry, try to experiment and um, try for yourself. You will definitely um, be successful with these plants because I think Tradiscansias have so many varieties and they are just the best plants for beginners but also for experts. And you can see that some cuttings have already even new growth on them. Let me show you this one. See it grew from the node okay so we have three cuttings for this one also it's growing new um, plant from the node see this one has less roots but that's also totally fine yeah compared to these ones um, yeah the roots in this one are less but still it's totally enough so if you have this kind of roots these long roots it's already enough and now we will need to decide so i would like to maybe plant similar plants uh, together the ones that will have long roots and are not cut from the top so these three and maybe even four i will plant in here just like this i can hold them like this for now and add more soil let's do it this way not to get too dirty even though i must say i like to work with my hands so i don't really like gardening tools because then you feel the soil the plants better but of course if you don't want to uh, get your hands very dirty that's also fine of course to use uh, some tools or some even some gloves so so we can press the soil just a little bit to stabilize the plants to keep them in the center and of course we're gonna water just a little bit that will be already enough and now I will put uh, this plant on the windowsill 
uh, where I have bright indirect sunlight and while it's adapting to the new environment it will grow new roots of course when I see the new growth um, if it's still greenish and not turning pink or purple it, that will be an indicator for me that I need to move the plant into a brighter sunlight so add a little bit sun in the morning or in the evening will do just fine for your plants just water them and keep the soil slightly moist and they should be fine and now let's also plant these three into this pot you may think that it's a big pot for now and uh, it really depends because these plants will grow roots very fast so don't worry about that of course a huge pot will make a difference you don't really want to keep the soil always moist and this can cause of course root rot but this size should be fine we add soil from all sides this is a very chunky and light soil and i absolutely love it it also smells so good like fresh forest <laughs> forest soil so that's it this one is also ready that's how easy and fast you can plant um please write your all questions uh in the comments i will be very happy to talk to you about plants and let's stay passionate about plants see you next time